am in Paris with my sister hey. in her apartment. I arrived a while ago, but we took the metro here and everything. So we were really busy, but she prepared some snacks. So we're having those with some Prosecco. <laughs> Cheers. And then we're gonna go to dinner. Yeah, we're gonna have some Italian. Yes. <laughs> sister's apartment. I'm just very happy. My sister lives in Paris because she studied here. She finished university here and now she's doing her master's. She's in the arts just like me. I'm here for two weeks so I'm not rushing into doing anything like I was in Berlin. Currently it's like three o'clock. My sister is gonna get here at like seven so before she comes I want to go out on a little little exploration because I don't know this area so well and I want to do some grocery shopping to cook her a beautiful dinner. Also having some coffee. Can't even... Oh my god. <laughs> got these for my sister and I to cook some little bits and of course this baguette, baguette looks so good Instead of cooking something big, we snacked hard on baguette and croissant. So we took a nap and we just made very simple salads and some mint tea. My sister and I made us breakfast and she went to school and everything then I met up with a friend that I maybe last saw when I was seven years old in Greece because that's where we lived back then I had a coffee with her and it was so nice and then I went to the Eiffel Tower. I got so excited on the metro on the way there. My heart started beating so fast when there was like two stops left. My dad was posted here in Paris for about two years and a half and during that time I was studying in Chicago but every winter break and every summer break I would come to Paris and our home was in Trocadero which is very close to the Eiffel Tower and it's where all those famous cafes with the Eiffel Tower view are like Café Trocadero and Café Carrette where I went and all those cafes and because we move so often and because we me and my sister are third culture kids we never just have one home we have multiple homes and usually 
life doesn't really allow us to go back to those homes and see the same place again and have the those experiences again. I think this was one of the first times that I got to go to the same district and have the same experiences that we used to have together as a family. So I just got super emotional. But my sister is gonna come. Like I, I'm doing some work right now. My sister is coming home in the evening. We're gonna cook. We're actually gonna cook today. <laughs> My sister's friend is so cute and she got me this welcome to Paris gift. <laughs> it's it's literally the most famous macaron place in the world. Yeah, I opened it before as you can see. Look at these! Now we're gonna have one.
We just went to the market. What is it Look called? Marché d'Aligre. Marché d'Aligre. We went there. We bought some cheese for our wine night tomorrow. And we bought blueberries and raspberries. Blueberries and raspberries and peppers. Yes. We also bought... <laughs> Croissant. Now we're gonna make breakfast now. We are so excited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 